Good evening. I'm at the Clearview Mall, just waiting for storms to power up. But this one popped up to my east. It is in eastern Butler County near Fanelton, and it is severe worn till 6:15. Today is April 17th, and Western PA and most of Ohio is under a tornado watch until midnight. Well, it has nice structure. There's the top. And the higher the top, the stronger the updraft, and that's when you get hail. Okay. Storms are starting to fire up in eastern Ohio. And I'm just leaving the mall and I might go north on Route 8. I know in Lawrence County there's a severe warning till 6.15. I'd have to check that once I pull over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and head north. The line of storms in eastern Ohio is moving now southeast. Or earlier today it was moving north northeast. But changed direction. So I'm just going to head north and west a little bit. what's going on. I just pulled off to check radar and it looks like the storms are moving north northeast again. So I am going to head south, possibly to Penn Township. Okay, there's a tornado warrant storm for portions of Tuscarawa, Tuscarawas excuse my pronunciation, Carroll and Jefferson counties until 645. And it looks like they are moving northeast. So I'm gonna get as far south as I can. Chasing can be frustrating because storms can switch direction quickly and then you have to reposition. So I am going to head south to Penn Township to Harcrest Community Park. Looks like the storms are once again moving north-northeast. I usually chase solo 99% of the time. Sometimes my brother will come with me once in the blue moon. But it's challenging because I have to f chase him by yourself because I have to drive, find a safe place to pull over to check radar. And if I had somebody in the passenger seat constantly looking at radar, that would be a big help. I will tell you, chasing isn't for everybody. A lot of times it's hurry up and wait. Crossing the Hanson or Picklegate Crossing. I call it the Hanson Avenue Bridge. And I'm heading south. No, not to Pittsburgh. bike on the busy road like this. Oh my gosh. It's dangerous because you can't keep up with the flow of traffic. I mean, I don't mean to call people out, but just use common sense. Another thing that scares me are those scooters people ride. I see them all the time on the roads and somebody's gonna unfortunately get killed. Okay, I'm making a right on three degree road and I am in Penn Township in the community of Nixon. 
there's the Far Hall. They, every July they have the Meg Cruise at the Butler Airport. And it's one of their largest fundraisers of the year. Classic cars, fireworks, food trucks, karaoke, and more. So I am heading south on Three Degree Road. I don't know if it's me, but the name Three Degree sounds creepy. It sounds like something out of like a horror movie. Three. I could hear it now. The Tale of Three Degree Road. But they named the road Three Degree Road because of the elevation in that. I think that's why they did it, like the grades and elevation. Okay, I'm looking south, southwest. According to my radar, they expanded the tornado watch farther east. Looks like there's a cell near Warren, Ohio that's warned. Hmm. And I wouldn't be surprised if a warning is issued on this one too. A severe thunderstorm warning. farther north, but there's a lot of rain in northwest PA, so that would take away the potential. And where I'm at now, there's no rain, and there's storms coming into an unstable atmosphere. So the rain makes the atmosphere more stable. And this does have a rotation signature on it. Just keeping my eye on that little hangy cloud. I don't see any rotation, but still it's important to keep an eye on it. And to the right looks like the rain shaft. See where it's dark gray? That is the rain shaft. Beautiful April day. Trees are blossoming. Leaves are trying to come out. Dandelions everywhere. If you look at the radar, I'm where the blue dot is. And that yellow, I'm trying to get coordinated here, but that yellow means a rotation signature so there is some rotation and up in northeastern Ohio there is a tornado warning until 7 30 p.m. and that's for Warren Ohio but see all that rain that's why I didn't head north because that rain's gonna make the air more stable okay my radar just updated and I wouldn't be surprised if this warning Another warning is issued for Beaver and Butler County here soon. And the storm right here is just northwest of me. I like to be either southwest or southeast of my storms. So that storm is the one you're seeing now. So it's discreet. I wouldn't be surprised if a warning is issued for this one too. I made that call right. I knew they were going to issue a severe thunderstorm warning and that is going on till the new station alert tonight. has arrived. Also one month ago was St. Patrick's Day and I did a hike here. So be sure to check out that video. In fact, I'll put it at the very end. 
that way you can easily find it. Now I am heading east on East Crewshank Road in Middlesex Township. I want to stay ahead of the storm, so I'm going to head over to the Saxonburg area. I love that there's still a lot of old farms in Middlesex because the southern part of the township it's all being built up. And I hate seeing farmland destroyed. But unfortunately kids or grandkids inherit the farm and they just can't afford to keep up with it because it's very expensive. And they just sell out to developers. I was able to pull off and check radar and the storm that's coming my way is severe warned and it's bowing. Whenever a storm bows, there are strong winds associated with it. And like I said in my other video, straight line winds can do as much damage as a tornado. So make sure you take shelter, stay away from windows. When thunder roars, head indoors. Heading east on Dinnerbell Road towards Saxonburg. tunnel. Okay, I'm in Saxonburg. Saxonburg has a historic main street. Just like here. Make sure nobody's coming out of the side streets. Right now I'm at Winfield Township Park in Winfield Township near Cabot and this is looking southwest. And there's some clearing to my south. This is one of the better vantage points. A lot of lightning strikes with this storm. I haven't experienced any strong winds yet. Oh, there's a beautiful shell cloud. Some cloud to cloud. I've got a shelf cloud going here. Lots of lightning. But hopefully it's not a wind event. Because wind does a lot of damage. It's not raining real hard, so I'm able to sit in my car and get video of this shelf cloud. I hate taking videos through the windshield. The sky lit up. I've had enough rain. I need a break from the rain. Looks interesting. In about 10 15 minutes, I'm probably gonna call it a night because I don't like to be out after dark. Just too many hazards. You got down trees and power lines flooding, so it's not worth it. It's an interesting structure. Above the roof of the picnic shelter, I see scud clouds. Those are air particles that rise up into the storm. A lot of people mistaken them for funnel clouds. Funnel clouds are smooth, but scud clouds are raggedy like this one. And they change shape every couple seconds. It's got some nice structure all over the place today. The mall. Ooh. 
Arcrest Park. Now Winfield Township. Just keeping my eye on this storm. Ooh. And I am looking west in Winfield Township. And I am looking west in Winfield Township. And some nice lightning bolts. Keeping my eye on that. Looks like a wall cloud might be trying to form. So I'm just watching that lowering. Oh, lit up like a Christmas tree. for rotation. It's kind of hard to tell it's getting dark so far. I don't see any, but I'm just keeping my eye on it. It's kind of hard to see with that tree. But that lowering was just enough to get my attention. The severe thunderstorm warning is going to be expiring in just about five minutes. Looking south. I will have the camera going on my drive home, but I am going to call it a night and head home because I got work in the morning. they have the Easter egg hunt. Which is a great idea because they have a lot of volunteers. People donate all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to head home. before it gets too dark. I 
feeling the tornado watch will be allowed to expire once this all moves through. And we had that sun come out this afternoon and that just made the atmosphere unstable. So the sun can be deceiving. And sometimes people are like, oh, the sun's coming out. Let's go to the pool or let's do something outdoors. Well, if there's a chance of storms, chances are that's going to make the atmosphere unstable and there's going to be storms 